welcome back. Hi. So I played more games. Uh, and our good runs continued. So what left is uh, we had Wraith Rovers in the championship and guess who got the goals? Our former player Lewis Rowan did an easy streak. A hat trick. <laughs> Excuse me. And we played St Mirren uh, in the Scottish World Cup. Kevin Golly with a penalty. <laughs> really hard on St Mirren right enough. And then we played Morton uh, at Caplow. He took the lead after 15 minutes but our man again Vaughan with a double and Kevin Golly getting a goal after 81 minutes. This one was quite surprising. Beating Falkirk at Falkirk Stadium 2-1. Vaughan taking the lead for us after 6 minutes. Then John Baird with the equaliser in first half stoppage time before Scott Lockhead scored for us and Danny Stoney had a goal ruled out for offside. So we're now at the game against Liston, which I'm hoping to win because I think if I win this then you know, I, don't need, I don't mean to kind of put any doubts on it, but if I win this then I'm probably in good con contention to win the Manager of the Month award, so let's hope. Uh, that can be the case. So here's a team I'm going to put out. I'm going to be putting Christian Nadi back in. I think all he's done well, but we'll give Christian Nadi a wee run out. Uh, and that'll be that. Just make sure. I know Christian Nadi, uh, sorry, Kevin Colley. He doesn't usually play there for Dumbarton, but usually plays up top but anytime I've played him he's played in the kind of areas and it's worked out for us so far so <coughs> I'm not changing it we went for a 4-4-2 four, four, diamond Livingston got to be careful with White he's a good player in this uh, for Livingston I think we've got the boy Craig Hackett, who's a Rangers youth player in the back of their defence. Here, here we go, though. Lockhead with a corner. Oh, it's a. Oh, Von Rick. What? Von's been sent off. I can't believe that. I don't even know what he was sent off for. No idea what happened there, but he's a straight red card. Give his marching orders by the referee. I'm still in shock with that. Nine minutes gone and we're down to ten men. Here's a corner kick. Here's Collie Bar. Bar with Ross. It's Gallagher and it's 1 0 Dumbarton. And ten man Dumbarton take the lead. And it's midfielder Grant Gallagher after 20 minutes. Eh, looks like as if somebody's got an injury. But it's only a minor knock by the looks of things, which is good after losing Vaughn. The cannon, they give a warning. So, not the idealist of starts, but happy that we're 1 0 up. We've just got to make sure that we defend that lead and hopefully hold on. <laughs> Talking about holding on, it's not even 36 minutes gone. Makes Nadi's game even more difficult. But we still get the uh, line share of the possession, which I'm happy about. And if we get in at half time, that'd be great. Another blow for us. Looks like there's a uh, Gallica is coming off. I'll need to play the youngster. Uh, oops, Whitefield. He's actually played for us before, so it's not as if I've not gave, given him a game, but. <coughs> I have given him some game time, so hopefully he'll be a, a suitable replacement for us. 
So 1-0, uh, that's the story of the half so far, and Vaughn being red carded, dismissed. Rangers 0-0 with Falkirk at the at Ibrox, so a free kick here, Colley's going to take, and that's not troubling the goalkeeper, that's for sure. Here comes Whitehead, Whitefield, Fleming, here's Whitefield, here's Lockhead, Nadi. Ah, uh, that should have been a, should have been a goal there. Here's Barr, Whitefield, Saunders. That was a good chance for Nadi. Here's Whitefield. Gets it through to Collie. Lockhead. Back to Barr. Nadi, Fleming, Whitefield. It's bobbling about there. We're doing well, we're holding on to possession. Touchwood, not want to put the stitches on it. <laughs> Here's Collie, Whitefield, Nadi, 2-0, Dumbarton. Ah, offside. Is that offside? Yeah, Nadi. Fleming's not happy about that. I really thought that was a goal. And that one's chopped off. I think Nadi's going to come off. He's just back from injury. Yep. And Ross is going to be the man that... Nadi will replace Falkirk 1-0 in the lead against Rangers. Queen of South also beaten Superman so far. They're up 1-0. So 79 minutes played, we've got enough 10 minutes to hang on to this 1-0 advantage thanks to Grant Gallagher who had to be brought off. Here's Gibbons, Fleming, great tackle. Lockhead, Whitehead, Ross. Fleming, what's he going to do with that? Uh, Doherty, just going to take that throw in. Is it still 1-0? We're in the injury time now. Just keep the ball. Collie, just keep the ball. Yep, that's it, take it up. Ross, go on. Oh, that's a good save by McCann. That would have made sure the three points are coming. Staying at Dumbarton. Here's Barr. Don't. Throw it away. Keep the ball, keep the ball. That's a free kick. Good on you. Your card for Gibbons. Time must be running out now for Livingston. Here's Buchanan. Collie. Whitefield. Lockhead. Here's Ross. And it's 2 0 Dumbarton. He's first goal of the season. And they're complaining that that was offside, but it's not done, it will stand, as we're 6 minutes into injury time, nearly 7, and it's 2-0 Dumbarton, fantastic, and that's full time. So, down to 10 men for most of the game, after Vaughn was sent off in the first 10 minutes, so, goals from Gallagher and Ross, gives us a home win over Livingston, who I says we would need to beat. In order to keep our <coughs> kind of uh, save us from getting relegated, which is obviously the main target this season. But look at that. Four games played. 1 3, drawn 1. And we're top of the league. <laughs> yeah, top of the league. <coughs> that's a, that's a kind of crucial blow, right enough, Gallagher. Is going to be out for two months. We'll try and appeal against us. Nah. Ah, oh, they've extended the ban. Oh, that's not really good. So, I'm tempted actually to go in for a... There's not really any midfielders there that I would possibly look into buying. So I'm going to go and look for a a lone midfielder, somebody that could uh, give us a wee bit of leeway. Uh, let me see. Now, in, uh, I'm not sure about this, but I, I don't think you're allowed to, I don't think other championship teams are allowed to loan each other's players, if I remember correctly. Let's see, will I give it a try? Yeah, go on. Right, we'll see if I can get Dylan Dykes because he's not a bad youngster. Give him 500. 
If I can't get him, I'm going to need a backup plan. Yeah, it looks not too bad. Jordan Leiden from Hamilton Ackies. No, from Patrick Thistle, sorry. So, we'll see if we can get either. We should be able to get one of them, at least on loan, till the end of the season. And that will just give us a wee bit of cover in there. Accepted both offers, so I won't take them both on loan. See, I can get him. Eh, uh, Dylan Dykes. No. See. That's a mad real lot. And it's one I didn't know it exist. Well, I did, obviously, that's what I said, but don't understand that. They're not allowed. Oh well. At least we've got some in anyway. And a uh, Leiden joins us on loan from Patrick Thistle. And that'll be all the dealings I'll do in the transfer window. And I've got manager of the month. Fantastic. Eh. Uh, Nadi's saying that I've helped him in his development. Yeah, he's a good player. Good for uh, Let's see, last time I got him, I was done about him. <coughs> and I was playing him, I think, I played about two years of that save, and then I kind of lost it. But he played a year, and then he just, to be honest, I had better options. But anyway, we've got Falkirk in our next match, and again, they're no kind of strangers to us. We've played them in the league, the league cup, and now in the Challenge Cup. So it should be a, a good, good test for us. I, I should also say uh, we've got Kilmarnock. Uh, You'll probably notice that in the League Cup, that's our, uh, our uh, that's our kind of, what do you call it, can't even think, yeah that's our reward, yeah that's what I'm looking for, for beating Falkirk, but we're into the quarter final and I did say that was our kind of aim to get into the quarter final, so Anything over and above this will be a be a bonus. So Vaughn obviously suspended. Uh, I think I'm going to bring in Routledge. Uh, give Leiden a start on the bench. Bring in Stoney. One of the younger youngsters can go on the bench. McCallum. Uh, it looks to be not bad, shooting's quite good, 15 shooting. Uh, so Nadi leads the line for us. We've got Nadi, Stoney, Lockhead. I think Lockhead's been pretty good for us. Uh, he's been a good sign, uh, as is Stoney. Uh, so, they yeah, kind of usual lineup for except from Baird. Uh, Baird's not in the starting lineup. He's been replaced by McHugh, who's equally just as good, to be honest with you. He's like a super sub for him. So, here we go. Here's hoping we can get another good result here. Uh, as it's a Falkirk on the attack. Here's Miller, and it's 1 0. I knew that was getting. Yeah, not the start we would have wanted as Folk get getting an early goal and Lee Miller scores after three minutes. Here's Alston now, Buchanan clears, but Sibald, Alston, McHugh, oh, good save, keeper. Mark Brown with a tip over the bar, that's a corner. Here it comes in, Lockhead should be able to get that cleared up to Naddy. Here's Fleming. And that chance goes a begging for Falkirk. Here's Miller. Alston down this left hand side. Here's Miller again. It's a corner. 
and Falkirk relentless on the attack as Sibold takes this corner it's Buchanan away, Lee, Sibold, Alston, Sibold and I think Routledge deals with that and Falkirk get a yellow card so here's Alston again, it's just Falkirk after attack, after attack, after attack and that's a goal for Falkirk and it's McHugh and I did say about the dangers of McHugh sometimes I think he's actually worse uh, to go against in, uh, in Baird he's a real good player, so he is in this as well, I think he's straight, I think his shooting's quite high so he scores there winning, Rangers win all up too against Brecon and all a 3-0 against his wife so I think we're up against it in the second half we're good to get back into the game but just need to pray and hope I think 60 minutes going, here's Stoney, Lockhead come on get a goal, Stoney here's Nadi with the rebound nope man it's away it's about getting it clear. I'm going to bring on a sub now. And Nadia looks like as if his game's done. And as is Rowledge, just use all my substitutes. Jordan Kilpatrick coming on for Kevin Colley. Kevin Colley's off uh, for his three subs. So. going to try and get back into the game and then see where that takes us. Air 1-0 up still against Cowden Beef. Allo a 4-0 up. So here's Leiden. Saunders. Oh, I'm going through a go slow here. Fleming gets it to Stoney. Stoney. Oh and that whacks off the bar. Our Muirhead scrambles away. It's lucky and it's a goal. We've got one back. And it's Lockhead that gets the goal. And now we're playing towards getting something. 2 1. As Falkirk make changes as a result of that goal. And we're back in this game. Here come Dumbarton now. Saunders with a great tackle. Here's Tony. Lockhead gets it through. McCallum should go there. That Lockhead. Oh! <laughs> Volks clears for a corner. Stoney gets it through. Good delivery here, wee man. Oh, it's well away. And McHugh will hold that up and take it away, run it back. But we give it away again. Come on, he's playing it here. Here's Smith. And that's away. Doherty. Looks like as if he's getting a yellow card, do you see us? 84 minutes going. Here, a folk at corner. Well, I put the tie to bed. It's McCann, and it comes off McCann for a corner to Falkirk. And they'll be just trying to tick the clock away, I think. McCann gets it through to Flaming. He was near. Yeah. It's another corner to Falkirk. Here's Tyo. Gets it through. My god. It's another corner. Just kind of get out of our own box. Here's Alston. Stony away now. Another corner. Smith. This one. <laughs> it's another corner. This is unbelievable. It's about, what, four corners, five corners in a row. Four minutes to be added on. Here's Smith with the corner once again. Buchanan this time clears. Yep, I think that might be that. Here's Layden. One last chance for his Kilpatrick. Gets it in. Fleming. Oh, Gary Fleming just over the bar and I think that's curtains yeah no wonder because as soon as he takes us oh come on that's shocking that that should be at least a card for holding up play right okay 
two one the but I two one to Falkirk. I wish it was two one to the button, but yeah, I said quarter finals of the week, uh, the Challenge Cup, and that's what we got to. So we can have really no complaints. Our main focus was the league, so that's our first our first day uh, loss of the season. Uh, and Falkirk go through to the semi-finals well done Falkirk so that's where we are just now we've got Alloa next and we'll play the Alloa game and then we'll see where we, we go from there so we, we are in terms of importance this is more important obviously so we'll be looking to win this and then after this We'll be back probably around the Morton game, maybe even before that, maybe even do I say eh, an upload nearer the, well it'll be nearer the Morton game anyway, eh, at home. But we'll do this one, do this game against Alloa. Let's see who we've got in terms of availability. Well, Vaughn will be still out. I think actually, had we had Vaughn playing, eh, then we might have been able to do a bit more damage. But you can't really, can't really stick by the, the same player all the time. Eh, Collie, I'm going to put Kilpatrick back on again. Eh, I think I'll play him up front actually. Give him a wee run out and. See how he gets on. He's got a good dribble. on. Yeah, yeah our docker to there. He's done actually, he's rated quite well. Seven, eights and sevens. So he's played quite well for us so far this season. So probably the main standout player. Chopra. Megaton, who used to play for them, Barnes playing on the left. That's a bit weird, that one. I'd have him up top, but there you go, I'm not the other one manager. Here's Collie. Thought it was going to be an early chance there for us. Here's Megaton, Routledge with a good title. Here's Doherty. Go kick Brown. Oh, come on! Oh, gee was Every time, uh, he does it now and again, Mark Brown, and it's not a good part of his game. He kicks it out and he gives the ball away. Come on, son. You need to get a grip. Here's Collie. Stoney. Flaming. So, still no nil. But, Aloha should be a go up. He's going to have to button free kick. As I said, these will be important games. Should be survive in the, the league. Here's Routledge, it's 1-0. Yes, get in there. 1-0 Dumbarton and Routledge with a goal after 16 minutes. And a mistake by former Rangers star McCausland. Here comes Doherty, Fleming, Stoney. Here's Fleming now, Routledge, Stoney. It's a good way corner kick, come on Dumbarton. Let's put this one to bed already. Here's Stoney with the corner. Oh, Collie. <laughs> Almost takes a shot off the Alwa player's back. Well, on you go. That's a game. A bit of fight in the. Don't mind that. As long as you don't get booked. Here's Megason Chopra. Here's Pun. Megason now gets it in time. It looks dangerous, Chopra. But he's offside. Yep. Oh, see, so this will be a free kick. Here's Collie. Always nervous when Matt Brown kicks the ball out. That's not a good sign. So nearly eight. Yep, that's half time and it's 1 0 thanks to a John Routledge goal after McCausland made a harsh of a clearance. Other scores Rangers still goalless. Couldn't have South St. Mirna leading Habs 1 0. Goalless between Falkirk and Martin. 
and a wreath, one each I think. So here we go, again for the second half, here's Finney, aye Doherty no bother, for Matt Doherty, getting that away, here's Collie now, pun, here's Chopra, oish, slips bar, and he's through with equaliser, Matt. Michael Chopra. Looks like they're going to make a change. Holmes coming off. So it's now one each. And Stoney takes a rock. Just how you like to see. Here's Lockhead, Kilpatrick, Routledge. Come on, Lockhead, Collie. Oh, how is this? Chance Stoney coming off. Got to watch now with it. Can I players when they pick up injuries? I'll only get a uh, bone, I'll be back for selection next game around, but still, got to be careful. Stoney's a key, come the key part of the team. And the youngster McCallum comes on. Here's Fleming with a free kick. It's Collie. Fleming. McCallum. Here's Hamilton now. It's going to get that away. Comes back up to Barton and Saunders. Mark Brown. Come on, kick that away. Good on you. And I think I'll make another change. It's 50 50. It really is, there's no kind of separating any of them. Uh, Leading will come on. I don't know whether just to kind of sit tight. And, and just a uh, oops, play out for a draw here. I know it's not the ideal scenario, but sometimes you've got to think about things and I don't know. Get 15 minutes. Here's Routledge. Going to have a free kick. To Dumbarton. Here's Calm. Saunders. Chopra now. Looks like he's going to be getting a tick off by the referee. So nine shots at goal. As we're in the injury time. Here's Leiden. Last chance possibly. Collie McCallum. Oh, come on. Last man. Ah. It's terrible. Here's Kilpatrick with the free kick. Last chance saloon, definitely. As it's a corner. Kilpatrick will take this. Gets it in. McCallum. Right off the keeper. Oh, come on. That was a great chance for the winning goal. Here's Collie. It's McCallum again. <sighs> Corner. Have we got time to take it though? We're about five minutes into injury time. Last chance. Nah. Looks like it's going to be a draw. Where's the goalkeeper going? Get back. What are you doing, Brown? Fleming, Collie. What was the keeper doing? Honest to... Oh... <laughs> No idea. Yeah, I think we should have won that. I, I would agree with the analysis at the end. But 1 1 is the scoreline. And there's the table so far. So, yep, yeah, a draw against Alwa. So, we'll be back uh, again. And we'll be back for the. I think we'll come, we'll come back for the bottom game. Then we'll do another three Morton, Livingston and Alloa. Till then, thanks for watching.